a dual cycle has an initial temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So we can assume that's our T1. That is equal to 303 Kelvin. The compression ratio is equal to V1 over V2. And it's given as 6. The heat addition at constant volume, that's here, Qx, is equal to 600 kilojoules per kilogram. And the cutoff ratio given by V3 over V4 is equal to 2.5. And we're asked to find the maximum temperature of the cycle, which in the case of dual combustion is T4. N degrees Celsius. Okay, so first, if you remember, the relationship between temperature and volume is this raised to k minus 1, right? So T1 is given to us. V1 over V2 is simply R sub k. And since this is an air standard cycle, k would be equal to 1.4. So now we can get our T2. Let's put that in our calculator. That's our R sub K. Okay, so we get a T2 of 620.44 Kelvin. Okay, so next we need to find T3. And in order to do that first, if you remember, QX is given. And the formula for Qx is simply the mass times the um, specific heat ratio at constant volume multiplied by the change in temperature, which is T3 minus T2. We're given this, and we can assume M to be 1. And Cv is equal to... 0 0.7186 kilojoules per kilogram. Trying to find T3. T2, we already computed for right here. And we can start putting this in our calculator. Qx is 600. Cv is 0 0.7186. We're trying to find T3. And T2 is 620.44. And we get our T3 of 1455.4 Kelvin. Now, if you remember again, the relationship between temperature and volume at this stage is T4 over T3 is equal to V3 over V4. No need for our specific heat ratio because this is simply a straight line. Okay, so we have T3, that's right here. And look, this is already given to us right here. So all we, all we need to do to find T4 is multiply T3 by 1455.4 times two and a half. And we get three six three eight point five Kelvin. Now that would be our that would be our answer, but we should subtract two hundred and seventy three first. To convert it into degrees Celsius. 
And that right there is our final answer. That's it, B. If this helped you, consider supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.